Hello Troopers and fellow Whovians and welcome to another Doctor Who DVD review. This time it's of The Dominators, a Patrick Troughton story. And one of the very few surviving ones because we all know that there's a lot of stories from that era that were wiped or lost. Cheers BBC. Anyway, front cover of this is good. You've got a UFO behind the second Doctor who is at the centre of the attention here. You've got the quarks walking around all over the place and they look all ridiculous and everything. And you've got two Dominators there as well. So overall, the, the front cover, I will say this, is pretty damn good. Uh, there's a side, not much going on there, so let's just move on. Uh, some screen grabs at the top there, all in black and white. And this was written by Norman Ashby. Dull Kiss. Planet of Harmony and Enlightenment, home to the peaceful Dolkians, an oasis of calm in the cosmos, and completely defenceless. The Doctor, Jamie and Zoe arrive to find Dulkis, enslaved by the cruel dominators and their deadly robotic servants, the Quarks. The passive Dulkians offer no resistance. Can even the Doctor save a people who are willing collaborators in their own destruction. Special features include a commentary by Fraser Hines, Wendy Padbury, Giles Block, Arthur Cox and makeup artist Sylvia James and it's moderated by Toby Haddock. We have Recharge and Equalize. Cast and crew look back on the Dominators including script editor Derek Sherwin, co-writer Melvin Hazeman, director Mary Newman and Brian Hodgson of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. We have Tomorrow's Times, The Second Doctor. A look at what the paper said about Doctor Who during Patrick Troughton's time in the TARDIS. And all the rest are the usual special features like Radio Times, Billings, all of that, etc. This story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 10th of August and the 7th of September 1968. It was produced by Peter Bryant, directed by Maurice Barry. Sleeve text by Noah Boyce, cover by Clayton Hickman, and the runtime for this one is 121 minutes. Wow, that is quite a lengthy uh, time. So yeah, that's your leaflet, and that is your DVD. And overall, what do I think of this DVD? Best thing about this is the Tomorrow's Times Second Doctor. And a few of the other special features, but mainly the Tomorrow's Times, because I quite like those special features when they uh, do those. Uh, the story. Uh, do you really want me to say... Oh, this one goes on and on and on, doesn't it? And it doesn't help the fact that it's 121 minutes long. This is five episodes long. Now there is a reason behind this, there was a few issues behind the scenes. So I think originally this was written to either be a four-parter or a six-parter. Uh, but it ended up going in the middle, so they went for a five-parter instead. And five-parters are quite rare, but in this day and age, you, you never hear of uh, five-parters in Doctor Who, it was pretty rare. And back then, it was... Uh, Around this time, they started doing this uh, with stories like this and with stories like The Mind Robber, which came immediately after this. The Mind Robber works really well with that format. This one, unfortunately, doesn't. The Dominators themselves, who are these guys, they look ridiculous. I'll say that. They look absolutely ridiculous. Uh, uninspiring villains. And the Quarks... <laughs> Yeah, they, they're just ridiculous as well. I'm not a big fan of the Quarks. Yeah, I'm not really a great fan of this story either. It just goes on for far too long. The uh, best thing about the story, though, is absolutely the performance of Patrick Troughton and his chemistry with, with Jamie as well, uh, Fraser Hines is uh, top notch there's quite a few fun moments here and there in the story uh, so it's not 
terrible. I wouldn't go down to say this was like as terrible as many others from around say the 1980s like say so i'll give it that but overall it's one of my least favorites uh this story unfortunately i've got to say it and it's definitely uh, one of my least favorites from the patrick troughton era and it's quite a shame really that we have stories like this that never got lost and then we have a lot of other stories that did get lost which sounds a lot better and i would rather have those stories than this so yeah that's my overall thoughts on the story of the dominators tomorrow's times as i said before easily the best thing about this dvd release so if you want to get this dvd then get it for that otherwise uh hold off from getting this for the time being i hope you enjoyed this review thank you very much for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in the next one cheerio folks